Hey guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome back. Let's play some more EU4, um, our uh, Dutch World Conquest run here. I want to thank you guys for your awesome support in the campaign so far. And like I had said in the previous one this morning, as long as we're getting 100 likes in each video, we will get twice daily uploads until we start our next campaign. You guys have been doing a great job with that so far and I appreciate you showing your interest. But let's get into it. So the major thing we need is we honestly need some monies because we don't have enough uh, sailors to raise a bigger navy than what we have right now and we're not going to be able to attack him Britain without a navy where's he at we have two heavies England has three but we have way more lights okay we, we probably could actually we could probably actually take on his navy especially if we could catch pick them off but um, with that let's actually unmothball you don't have very many Hmm, this might take some time for you to repair. Because the problem is, is that I can declare on him, but France is not going to help. Oh, he's got a lot of debt. Portugal would help him. Their combined navies, there's no way I could do this without France. Huh. Yeah, so I guess I'm just waiting then. Uh, it's kind of a kind of a shame let's see what else we got as options then we could attack him steel would help him what about attacking Castile directly absolutely not you are in a trade league man we're pretty boxed in here not gonna lie now we're actually suffering attrition while we're at sea because we don't have enough men to uh, replenish our ship so that is an absolute shame so let's just be five it for a few months see what we can uh, come up with in the meantime we need a little bit of money adelaide that's a funny way of spelling it all right so a couple of things that i don't really care about how are we Such little money. Really, it's that heavy. Jeez, oh, Pete. All right, well, let's actually send you guys back out there because let's take. We're losing like. So let's actually do this here, and you send the flagship out. Send you out and have you protect trade as long as we have. Okay, yeah, that'll do fine. Because we need that money. Here. Fleet maintenance is really high. So let's go ahead and just mothball y'all for now. Okay, and we can take another idea here. Do that. This extra merchant would be really nice. Um, take some unrest. That doesn't matter to me. Too many military leaders because we are now slipped below our power projection. So I'm actually going to send an insult to you. England, you suck and I hate you. Wait. Why will it not give us... Oh, he's not our rival? The steel is then. You suck and I hate you. Oh, look. There's some filth over... Lovely filth over there. Yes, that's how I feel about Castile. That's how I feel about Castile. Certainly. So that should go away. But yeah, there we go. And uh, let's see here. Still need to keep an eye out for who we could, you know, war deck on. Still does have some rebels. Wonder if I could get him to, uh... Yeah. This is so unfortunate, man. So let's get this thing built, because we really need more sailors. Is there a... What? What um, contributes sailor? Not manpower. Not really sure. Huh. Yeah, I'm not really sure what uh besides assuming I assume it probably is has something to do with it, but um, 
suppose we're ahead enough on time. We don't really need mill points right now, so I'll just go without the leader for now. Can we fish for any PUs? Saxony. Probably not any time now. And uh, we're going to finish annexing him. Integration is indeed a slow process, so welcome to the fold, my friends. We'll immediately state up your lands over here. That'll help out our trade income a bit. We want these military guys. We'll take his... Uh, how many do we have right now? We need to get rid of two of them, so I will take the horse and I will get rid of these two. Alright, very good. That'll actually help our trade out a bit. How are you feeling? He's going to hate me for such a long time. I would like to connect my lands up over here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get to war with Galray anytime soon. Allied England? So Castile would now join. This is my Diplo rep. You will not. You heard, man. Well, I can do this. Portugal and Gallery? Yeah, I can do that. So I should have you guys get that all sorted out. I should probably unmothball you so you can um, repair up. Good. Hmm. Okay, get you guys over there, get you guys joined up, and I think we can declare war now. And uh, let's have you guys join up. Let's see here. This is very reasonable. France should go just beat up on on uh, Portugal. And that would leave Munster to do that. So England's army is pretty beefy, though. Like, way beefier than mine. Hmm. Still want the sailors, though. I suppose we want to see if we can catch some of them out. So there's an English army over here. I wonder where his navy is, actually. Building up an army over here. There's a trade ship over here. See, there's his heavies. Knew he was going to show them eventually. Let's get him in there. He loved to see it. Loved to see it. So he lost one of his heavies. We lost one apparently, but I think it was France's. So what in the world are you doing? Do one of these, there we go. So, I suppose now would be a good time. Manpower, I think we'll go with uh, discipline. Sounds appropriate. So let's come over here, start sieging some stuff down. Let's actually make our way down. Matter of fact, come over here and see if we can um, get him to pull his heavies out. The less repair ticks they can get, the better. Though I do need my heavy over there, so let's do that. Admittedly, I would like to have a better admiral. Any better? Eh, a little bit. Stay with it. And that's it. English Navy is no more. All right. The, um, so, yeah, Portugal has a couple of heavies. All right, perfect. Well, that's really good for us. We can actually take Miltech now. Do we need it? France already has it. Do you have some cannons? No cannons yet. 
anybody have any cannons? No. Come over here and get Galray out of the war. So, you guys joined up over here. Blockade him out. I suppose I don't need to get you guys down there. So let's go ahead and get Portugal out of the war as soon as possible, eh? The sooner we get them out, the better. And as far as the goal for the war, I just need to land, take, you know, London, realistically, and then I want to get a foothold, take Kent and Sussex. That's, uh, that's the goal. So let's come down here. Let's see if I can get a couple of his guys to join on. So those guys are locked in. He might be able to reinforce. Mm -hmm. He's got a negative roll. Uh, yeah, he didn't reinforce in time. Unfortunate. That's fine. I would have taken Miltech, I would have got it. I don't think you have it yet. Nope. Fine. We lost a lot of manpower in that fight. And Munster's over here losing to Galray. Just lost that mid... You goober. Alright. So, come December, we're actually gonna... Or January, we're gonna take it. I'm gonna keep him cornered over here. Alright, so let's go ahead and take tech here. That will uh, certainly solidify a stack wipe on you. At least I sure hope. Very good. I'm actually going to take out... Uh, do I have force limit? I don't. I think it's probably in my best interest to... Um, get a couple of cannons in there. Oh, do I really want to not have the front line filled out? Hard to say. Get a couple of cannons. We do need at least one for the value cannon, but I suppose we have the uh, economy to handle it, so let's just go for it. Matter of fact. Since we have you guys, go ahead and get you guys out of there. Get you guys protecting trade. Get us back to our uh, juicy income that we had before. And uh, eventually hire this guy again. Some lazy diplomats here. Man. They've had some losses. France, man. Oh, I've lost 8k. Goodness gracious. Who else am I rivaled to? Galray, who I'm at war with. Denmark and Castile have enemied me. Or outrivaled me. That's Kind of big, honestly. So Galray will want out of the war. You will annul that alliance, and uh, that's fine. You will, um, yeah, I could use the PP, so let's do that and have you do that and give me all that money. So it's pretty good. All right. So that frees everybody else up to uh, make their way in for that. So let's come down here and see if we can get them out of this part of the war here. This little theater down here. Go ahead and hire you. We'll definitely take that and then we can actually steer a little bit more trade. That is probably our best bet here. 10.6 going up to what? Is that 11 point something? 12.6. Goodness gracious. Okay, cool. Well, that's... That's pretty good. All right, so. It's just, the I'm, I'm scared that if I am to la land some men over in English land, that they're just gonna dogpile on me, which is obviously not not what I wanna have happen, right? Um, sorry, Pope man. I have one of, my, one of my guys go help you out. Not gonna get, oh. Thank you, Scotland. I appreciate you. A little gift from a little guy. Portugal is getting their... Navy sunk, which is good to see. This is going to be tough, man. 
Oh, wait. Ooh, Brittany's over here sieging this down. Well, if that's the case, let me... Do we have a siege guy? We do not. So, let me just get my men off there. Leave my cannons to help out with that. There we go. So, how are you at war? England is now papal controller. You better not be able to excommunicate me while we're at war. I swear. I lose my mind if I get excommunicated while I'm at war with him. Um, let's see here. Just need to get over to Lisboa. Because as soon as I can get them out of the war, like, we're, we're golden, right? Like, there literally is no more worry after we get them out of the war. So they did have some men running around over here. I suppose if I could kill some of his men. That would be a nice little incentive for him to promptly leave. Let's go ahead and get a couple of uh, carpet sieges going on over here. But what is this war all about with Brittany? So he is, he's trying to conquest him. That's pretty good, because now he's got a ticking war score against him. Yeah, England, man, he's really... I wonder if he's murking up. Got a lot of men in the field. Yeah, he has 15 mercs, so that means his income, his economy is definitely tanking. Let's see here, score comparison... Oh yeah, he's loaning up, which is good. The more mercs he has, the more loans he has, the more loans he has, the, uh, the more the spiral will continue here. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, really like to raise these levies, man. So, can I give them some land, I suppose? And let's do that. Give you that. And then, um... Is it based on their... Beautiful. Land maintenance modifier and manpower recovery speed. Very good modifiers to have. At least in our situation right now. Let's go ahead and continue to uh, get you guys marching around here. The sooner we get Portugal out, the better. There we go. He's very close to low enthusiasm. Let's see here. As soon as we win these sieges, he might actually peace out. Next month? Hmm. Come on, Portugal. You know you want out of this war. Very good. Alright. So, with that, I need to land some men on English clay. And I'm really concerned. Like, that was a 23 stack I just saw up there. So Brittany's landing men, he's fearless. I respect you. He's got some got some bowls on him. Let's get you guys up here in Calais. Oh man. He's loaning up. Like honestly, if we just wait it out, we'll be fine. And I can honestly I can go over the limit. That's that's not a huge deal. I suppose these guys should probably be a merc. Considering the fact that we hardly have any manpower left. So we have 15 tree uh, transports. So I s mm, goodness gracious. Yeah, he's got 35k, 36k right just sitting there, man. I can't do anything about that. I can't land men on his land. So what exactly does war exhaustion affect again? Because like his is stacking up pretty fast. Goods, goods produced, unrest. Get a little bit of spy network built up. Hopefully that would help us with our siege of London. War's been going on for four years already. France has a 30k stack of rebels. That's nuts. Yeah, man. This is crazy. Alright, so let's let's just land some men and see if we can bait him out. Because as long as we can at least win a siege, we're good. Because then we can just pop in and out. 
So we just need a month. Come on now. Okay, there they come. Hmm. And we're not gonna be able to take it until we have London. Like we're gonna have to have London. Does France have any transports? No. So let's do this thing. Allow allies to board our transports. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, wait for him to attack. Why are you not reinforcing, dude? I suppose if you're just gonna send your 11k in. Dang it. Wait, we're winning? No, we're gonna lose. Unfortunate, man. We lost a lot more men than we did. Well, that was way better than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, no, we just devastated him. <laughs> okay, um, so I'm thinking actually we're just gonna go over the force limit. That was way less strenuous than I was expecting it to be. We almost stack wiped his, we did stack wipe that 11K. So I think that we can do that. Where's his money at now? Oh yeah, he's at five loans. He's continually loaning up and I'm, the only reason I'm loaning up or I have debt is because of reinforcements, so. Um, France is at medium enthusiasm. Oh, he lost his capital. Why are you guys not sieging that back? Oh, hey. He pieced out and had him return Laborde. Pretty cool. So let's see here. Not sure where that stack's going. I'd like to see them. Hey, we stole a light. Very nice. I will gladly bring you guys back. The Bedford. We're now rightful Dutch property. Okay, so he's got those men all the way up there. Are you? Hmm. How cool would it be if Scotland would go to war? Realistically, should have been looking for an alliance with Scotland that whole time. All right, so let's get you guys back over here. Just need to keep an eye on that 22 stack. Attrition's killer, man. What kind of name is... Look at that name. Hannah Gowen. I don't even know how to pronounce that. We have the two mercs building up, so we're going to go with that. Let's actually keep the two mercs out of the army. So this is a... 16 stack? 16 stack. Good. So if they need to flee, they can flee. I don't think I can... Like, dude, I just don't understand how this is going to work. If France isn't going to land men, I'm not going to be able to do it. Because he's just going to send these huge doom stacks at me, you know? Or do I need to buy it down? I'd rather not. I don't know. I do not know. I don't have the manpower to... You know, I just lost a bunch of mercs in that ward as well. I mean, his his war exhaustion is is incredible. Like, you might have high enthusiasm, but you also have high debt, my friend. Six loans. I suppose the uh, the goal will be to just continue to destroy him economically until he's willing to go bankrupt or give me the land. Right? Let's see here. Who's got? He has nine mercs, that's it? How do you have any manpower? That's crazy. Our general is dead. Fine. Finish that out, very good. Number of states, but the admin tech cost will be nice. It will certainly pay itself off in the long term. 
Gonna continue to let his war exhaustion stack up. Can buy mine down if I must. Rather not though. What's what's legitimacy? Have 38k just sitting there. Absolute wiener. Hmm. Yeah, France is gonna peace out eventually. Yeah, he's at low enthusiasm. I'm disappointed. Like, how do you have this stack right there? Yeah, it was only a matter of time before that happened. At least give me military access, dude. Wait, he took Akatane? What in the world? Okay. Okay, let's get you guys split, and then you guys split, because apparently we have to go all the way around and through those rebels, which is obviously not going to happen. Oh, give me a break. You bought War Exhaustion down? I mean, I certainly can as well. I'm going to gain a little bit from Attrition here. I don't know, guys. Let me know which, if you have any tips in the uh, comments down below. We're going to have to let this war ride out. Not going to be able to... Uh, not going to be able to finish it out here today. So, hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you have any tips on how you would finish this, let me know in the comments down below. I'll take the mill points for sure. Um, let me know how you feel about taking influence as our next idea group. And uh, let me know if you got any, you know, sort of direction that you would like to give me that you think would be helpful. I always appreciate the feedback. The big thing is, is like his, his debt is stacking up. He's at six loans as his war exhaustion continues to go up. It's, it's, I really don't know what's, what's the best way to do this. Next promoted cultures is probably a good one. I don't know. Anyways, uh, 100 likes a day and we get... Um, twice daily uploads until the next series so if you guys are interested in that don't forget to leave a like if you have uh not subscribed already don't forget to do that and uh, we have a discord as well as a patreon both of those are going to be linked below if you want to support the channel that's the best way to do it and with all of that being said this is chewy shoot and i will catch you guys later a big special thanks to my top supporter on Patreon, Bloodbound92, as well as Udaldo, Corbett Gaming, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal 7, Lambda Driver, Damien Hartvig, as well as others for your awesome support. I appreciate you very much. Got a couple of series over there linked on the right that I think you might like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.